So, you guys really like that Splatoon 1 video. I've gotten a good bit of comments of people asking me how I got onto the servers, and I plainly said Pretendo. Pretendo Network has a replacement server for the old Nintendo Network that was shut down last year. It revives games to some extent, as they aren't all finished, it revives Miiverse under the name Juxverse, and it also allows you to add friends and talk to them via Wii U chat again, and enables the Wara Wara Plaza again, and some more features I probably forgot. I figured I'd make this video to teach you guys how to install it on your Wii U to give it a purpose again. Think of this as Wii Link 24, but for the Wii U. Now, it is a little complex, and I haven't made any tutorials since 2020, so this one may be all over the place. You'll have to forgive me for that one. Before we start anything, I am not responsible for any bricked Wii U's that could arise from this. If you bricked your Wii U, it is 100% your responsibility. Only do this if you really know what you're doing. This isn't even that hard, and the chances of a brick are very rare. Alright, now that the obligatory warning's out of the way, let's start to find Nintendo. For this to work, you'll need a Wii U that has been homebrewed successfully with a tiramisu or aroma environment, preferably aroma. If you haven't added basic homebrew to your Wii U, stop this video and visit the link in the description to help you get started. An SD card that has 4GB of space or more. Should I even be mentioning this? I think you straight up need an SD card to mod your Wii U in the first place. Eh, whatever, you never know. An internet connection, obviously to access Pretendo servers. A Pretendo network ID to log in with once you have it set up. You can't use your normal Nintendo network ID here. The first thing you want to do is the prep work to access Aroma. Now, if your Wii U is already homebrewed in the Aroma environment, skip to the timestamp shown in the video, or use the chapters in the description if they choose to actually work on this video. Otherwise, follow my lead. Visit the official Aroma download site listed in the description. Make sure to check the boxes to make the download boxes show up. Now that you've gotten them to show up, check the environment loader, the base Aroma, and the ink boxes. Now download all of it. Once it's done downloading, insert your Wii U's SD card into your PC and load up its contents. In those folders you downloaded and should have extracted by now should be one single folder named Wii U. Go on and nab those folders and paste them into the root, the main area without any folders opened, of your Wii U's SD card. If you're prompted to replace anything, allow it to be overwritten. You aren't harming anything. You're placing the aroma environment into the homebrew folder to be ready to load up. I'll do it in the recording because I already have it set up on my Wii U. Now that that's all said and done, place your SD card back into your Wii U and give that thing an old smack roo to give its day started, but hold down the X button once it does so. You should be loaded into the environment loader now. You should also see three options, one of them being Aroma. Highlight Aroma with your gamepad and press X or Y to make it the default boot environment. Then give the A button some love as you boot into that sweet smelling aroma of knowing you're about to revive your Wii U with more life than it had post November 2017. Your Wii U menu should also look different. It may have your base homebrew all in individual apps scattered on your home menu. A little note, some homebrew like Nusplay requires specific aroma tailored versions for them to work there. If you try to boot up Tiramisu tailored homebrew and aroma, you'll be booting up Disappointment. I have an app that allows me to switch between aroma and Tiramisu when needed that should be on the homebrew app store. Just in case it's not, I'll leave a link for it in the description. Alright, you now have aroma set up. Now we need to deal the final blow and make your Wii U connect to Pretendo. Now that you have Aroma enabled, you should have a plugin loader that you can use on the home menu. Press L and down on the D-pad and select all together to load the plugin loader. You should see a screen like this and it should also have an option labeled Ink. Highlight that and change the slider to Yes on Connect to the Pretendo Network option in the Patching submenu. Now restart your Wii U, changing that slider didn't do it for you after backing out of the plugin loader. After that, you should see a message in the top left that says Using Pretendo Network. Boom, baby, you're now on Pretendo. You did it! Congrats! However, you don't exist in the network yet. That's where your Pretendo ID comes into play. Go to the Pretendo site in the description and create your ID there. Set up your name, password, and me there, and then log into it in the user menu like you would have as a young kiddo 10 years ago, getting your Wii U for the first time and set it up to work with Nintendo Network. Alright, to check and see if you are indeed not technology illiterate, no offense to those who are, Boot up a game, or a Miiverse if you'd like, that is supported by Pretendo once you've set up your Pretendo ID. I imagine many of you will try Splatoon, since that's what the main demographic is for the servers right now. Load up your game and test the online to see if it works. If you chose Splatoon, you should be greeted with the Inkopolis news once you hit ZL and ZR. That's how you know that it indeed worked. You may be met with a connection error code, but it still at least worked. It isn't a service's discontinued error, so that's good at least. Alright. Now you exist. If you still have any issues, go into your internet settings and change your DNS that don't auto-obtain, and type in these numbers for the primary and secondary DNS. It should work then.
There you go! Hopefully that wasn't too much for your mind to handle. You can now make a new legacy in Pretendo. Hopefully this tutorial helped you. If there are any questions you have, leave a comment, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. For now, that shall be all. Thanks for watching the tutorial, and good luck in your Terror Force. See you later! Thank <laughs> you.